we turn that fear into praise. During these times of fear and, 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 and chaos, that's the times we have to be more thankful. That's the times where we turn that fear into praise. And God will create a, a peace that you don't fully understand and you can't get. What, what, what I encourage people to do is this, is start out with, with the first thing is this, is I write out what I'm afraid of. And so if I'm afraid my business is gonna fail, if I'm afraid that, that something's gonna happen to a family member, I write it on a piece of paper and then I scratch it out and I write above it, I don't trust God to take care of my business. I don't trust God to take care of my family member. And then I say it out loud to him because I don't think you can truly repent and, and, and start that restoration process unless you're honest with them. So I start with that part and I'm honest with them and saying, God, I just don't trust you in this situation. And then from there, I can ask myself, why don't I trust him? And then next is, is I grab a piece of paper and I write out on a line page and I stop at one page, but I, I start with everything I'm thankful for. And it can be some things that could be completely ridiculous because there are some days I don't want to be thankful. I like, I'm angry and I want to be angry. But, but, but because of that, I take, I take it and I just start writing it out. And it could be, I live in a community that has a grocery store that's very convenient to my home. And in that grocery store, I have an aisle that's dedicated to cookies or anything along those lines that I can do that I can be thankful for. And then I get down to the bottom of the page and I usually stop there because you start flowing and I can go forever at that point. And I just start praising God and thanking Him. And I thank Him for each line at a time. And I get down to the bottom of it, most of the time, 90% of the time, I feel better. On occasion, I have to sit then and list my problems out. And then what's amazing is if I do ever get to that point of listing my problems out, it's rare there's any problems that I get to actually do something about that I have control over at all. And those that I do, it's usually not that many, but in your head, you work it out so many times in so many different ways that you end up creating more than what's really there. And then I can start kind of attacking it. And I just do it a very systematic way of doing things. So when we hit 2020 and in the restaurant business, COVID hit us hard, but we were able to go through with, 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 with our head up, with peace and joy throughout this entire process. Don't mean that I don't have those 2 a.m. moments, but when I get them, I have security knowing that I can trust in him and that he will see me through wherever that circumstance happens to lie. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.